in this class <clears throat> basically we are going to write the base physical quantities along with their units now let's uh, start first of all we will write base physical first of all we will write base physical quantity then we will write its unit sorry before that we need to write symbol for quantity symbol for quantity then we need to write unit for the quantity and then we need to write the base unit sorry the unit and then they are they are already the base quantities then the symbol for the unit so this is the table that we are supposed to fill So the first quantity is then the second quantity, the second base quantity is time. Order is not important. There are seven quantities in total. The third one I would say it is mass. The fourth one I would say it is temperature. The fifth one is current. The sixth one is amount of substance. This is unit used for chemical reactions to count particles. Seventh quantity that we have to study is the intensity of light. The seventh and the last quantity that we are supposed to study is intensity of light now let's start symbol for length is l unit for length is meter and symbol for unit is m the second quantity that we have to study is time smaller t unit is second and symbol for the unit is smaller s then the third quantity is mass represented by smaller m its unit is kilograms and symbol for the unit is kg the fourth quantity that we have to study is temperature then the unit for temperature is Kelvin. Kelvin is the absolute temperature and it is represented by K. Then the next quantity that we have to study is current. Unit for symbol for current is I. Unit for current is ampere and symbol for ampere is A. Amount of substance symbol is smaller n unit is mole and this is represented by smaller n intensity of light it is represented by capital i symbol is candela sorry unit is candela and it is represented by cd this number seven is not very common or important <coughs> why are these quantities are called base quantities Actually, all the quantities in physics can be constructed using these seven quantities. I would say that they are the alphabets or ingredients of the whole physics. So there is not a single quantity in physics that could be constructed using these seven quantities. So we can use seven quantities to describe the whole physics and all the quantities that are present in physics. And every single quantity can be broken down into these base quantities. 
So this was about base physical quantities, their units and their symbols. The next two class would be about the derivation of base units of other quantities.